My name is Clay Benson. I'm lead mobile web developer for Mutual Mobile here in Austin, Texas. And I'm going to recap the talk I gave at HTML5 TX conference about WebKit Box and the flexible box model. Um, in summary, on a mobile device, be it iOS, Android, or Blackberry, or really any device, um, you want to be able to use the entire screen real estate, whether you know what that is or whether you don't know. Um, because you never know what resolutions are going to be coming out. So this is the demo that I did, um, a live coded demo, to show that in the flexible box model, no matter what orientation or size of the screen, we're using the entire area. Um, in addition to that, this is the standard web view. If you go to installing it on your desktop as an actual web app and you view it, you can see that it actually takes up more area. And so it's completely flexible and there are no widths and heights specified. Um, this is an iPhone. But if we look at that same code base on the iPad, you can see that it also uses the entire space given. And that in that, as part of the flexible box model, we have animations done in CSS, and they work across all the devices, including this BlackBerry tablet. Um, the idea behind the flexible box model, um, and I guess in summary what's important is, Users of mobile devices are impatient. Um, mobile has brought about a lot of impatience and you want to give them the content in a form that is easily viewable and so this is important not only as a developer but as a designer to think how can I best use the space and display not only in landscape, not only in portrait, but in any resolution be it the ones that we know of today or the ones that can be released tomorrow. Um, and the flexible box model allows us to do that and that was the basis for my talk.